everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Katarina. Today's video is going to be the first part for my lipstick collection video. So I'm going to share with you all of my lipsticks in two videos. I do have my lipsticks in two different baskets. In one basket there is all of my colorful lipsticks and in one basket there is all of my neutral lipstick. And today we are going to go through the neutral ones. So these are all different types of neutrals from nude to deep browns. I think it's quite funny that after my declutter I do have 40 lipsticks in my collection and I didn't count the lipsticks when I did sort them into these baskets but it happens to be so that I do have 20 lipsticks here in the neutral basket and I do have 20 lipsticks in the colorful basket. I think it would be a little bit nicer if I showed you these in kind of like color order like first nude then neutrals but for me it is always the easiest way to go through things in alphabetical order. So first lipstick that I do have here is the British Cosmetics Titanic lipstick and this one is in the shade Spit Like a Man. This is a newer addition to my collection. So here it is. It is a satin finish lipstick and it is this super warm almost like yellowy brown. It is quite bold, at least on my skin tone, but I do really like it and I do like the formula. It is very comfortable and I feel it stays on very well. I love Titanic, that's the reason why I bought this. I love what indie brands do when they do these themed collections. Then I do have three Color Pop Lippy sticks here. First is the shade Krong and this is in matte formula. Do you say Krong or Crunch or Crunch? Is it crunch? I'm sorry, I don't always know how to pronounce some words. But anyways, this is a cool toned brown. I don't wear this that much and this was actually something that I considered decluttering. However, I tried it on and it's really beautiful. It's maybe something I would prefer more during winter. So here it is. I do really like this color pop matte formula, although I don't think it's matte. I think it is like a satin formula. It does stay on very well, but there definitely is, I wouldn't say shine in it, but a satin finish in it. Then I do have here another of color pop lipsticks in matte formula. So this one is the set Peach and it is a deep chocolate brown. This is so beautiful. I definitely should wear this more often. So here it is. The only thing is that maybe I would prefer this deep color in matte formula, in liquid lipstick formula or something like that. However, this one is really not messy, but if I ever run out of it and I want to purchase a new deep chocolate brown lipstick, I will probably buy a formula that is like completely matte. The last color pop lipsticks I do have in this video, I do have also some colorful ones in the another video, but the last one here is the color Skimpy and this is glossy formula. I'm not quite sure if they do sell this anymore, but this is a nude and it is a lightest nude in my collection. I cannot pull off this color on its own. I do need to wear it with a little bit deeper nude lip liner and create that ombre look. I think it is quite the same depth than my skin tone, but this is just more like pinky peachy when my skin tone is a little bit more yellow but it is so light that it washes me out completely and it makes me look like a ghost. But with a deeper lip liner, it looks very nice. Then I do have here one lipstick from Dose of Colors. So this is the Dose of Colors Satin Lipstick and it is in the shade Mocha. And this one is a cooler toned brown. Again, it's a little bit similar to the Colourpop Crunch but this one is more light. I have worn it maybe a couple of times and I do really like it. I don't think if it is that satiny, I almost feel like it is kind of like semi-matte. Like I feel these Colourpop lipsticks in matte formula are more satiny than this one, but I do really like it. I need to wear it more, however, to form the final opinion. Okay, so let's move on. I do have a clean hand to Schwarz new lipsticks. So next is from Essence Terra Color and Care lipstick, and this one is in the set Life's My Runway. These are no longer available, I believe. So they are these kind of like moisturizing small tiny lipsticks. I really do like this formula. I do have a couple of these. They look kind of like a glossy satiny type of lipsticks. It is this nudey 
type of color. I'm so bad at describing different type of nudes and browns, so <laughs> forgive me. But I do like this. It's really everyday appropriate, really easy color and this definitely is something I could see myself panning. Next we do have a liquid lipstick from Jeffree Star. So this one is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick and this one is in the shade Gemini. I bought this because I am a Gemini, but I also do like this color. But to be honest, if it was some other sign, I would have not bought it because then I would feel like it's not for me. But the color looks pretty, so I'm really happy to have it. This one is again something I have so hard time describing. I do like this formula a lot. It is comfortable. It's not the most long-lasting, but I feel if you have the most long-lasting liquid lipstick, it's probably going to be a little bit too trying. Next is the Jelly Pong Pong Lip Butter in Balloons. So this is so adorable packaging. I mean, it's this cute cardboard packaging with balloons in it. It is beautiful color. It is this nude that has just enough brown in it, so I feel it fits very well for my undertones. Unfortunately, I do think this one is just tiniest bit too creamy, so for me what happens with this one is that it skips. So I like to wear it on top of lip liner, so then it doesn't skip. This one probably is my favorite nude in my collection, but there is a little bit warmth in this one, so I don't think it goes with every single look. But with warmer looks, I think this is my favorite nude. Okay, next we have a controversial one. So this one is the Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick in Lolita. This is my only Studded Kiss Lipstick from Kat Von D. Um, I do like it. I have very hard time describing this shade. It's not like my favorite ever, but it is a nice neutral. I think it reminds a little bit of this Jeffree Star Gemini, but this one is just maybe a little bit more light and a little bit more red. About Kat Von D, I just quickly want to say that I don't want to talk about the drama that much, but she has never been one of my favorite persons and it's not like I want to buy everything from her brand, I really don't. However, I'm still not boycotting her brand completely, just because it is cruelty free and all vegan brand and because I am already a little bit more limited with the options I can buy, because I only buy cruelty free and vegan, I feel I just don't want to boycott brands that do offer those cruelty free and vegan options for myself. Then I do have one lipstick from Makeup Revolution. I don't remember the lipstick name right now, but it will be written to the description box. So this one is in the shade Lux, and it is this little bit deeper brown. It is quite warm, I think. Here it is. I do really like it. I think this is like a satin finish. It's very comfortable. I totally could buy more of this. Okay, next is a lipstick from Manna Kadar. So this is their, what is it even called? Lip Lacked Priming Lipstick. And the shade name does not read here, but I believe it is the shade Bliss. And it is described as peachy on their website, but it's not like super peach. I think it's more like a peachy nude. This set is so beautiful. I think it swatches amazingly and on so many people, this type of nudes look so awesome. However, I don't think they are the most flattering lipsticks on myself. I feel these look better if you do have like blue eyes or green eyes. I think this kind of lipsticks makes blue or green eyes pop. But for me, it kind of does nothing, but the color is still so pretty that I want to keep it. Then we do have a lipstick from Modoko. I think this lipstick is called like long-lasting lipstick or something like that, but it's really not a long-lasting lipstick. However, I do really like it. By the way, this one I did get from subscription service and at least the Jelly Pong Pong and the Manna Cutter lipsticks are also from subscription service. I did get the subscription service called Lip Monthly for a while and I did really like it, but because there may be brands that are not necessarily cruelty free, I decided to stop ordering it and I'm happy I did. They do send you three lip products and one other makeup product every month, so I think I would get so overwhelmed with my lipstick collection so quickly, so I really don't need that kind of service, but I did really like it, so if you're considering a subscription service, I rarely was disappointed with the monthly box or little pack. This one is like 
I feel a glossy finish lipstick and it's really pretty. It is a neutral, a little bit deeper neutral and it has some real shine in it, but not like shimmer, but just like glossy type of shine. I do really like it. It's not the most opaque thing ever, so you can wear it with or without lip liner, however you want to. This one is in the set Truffle. Okay, next I do have a lipstick from NYX. So this is their butter lipstick in Pops. This one is one of my oldest lipsticks in my collection. I think it is maybe three years or something like that. So not a young lipstick anymore, but it is still good. So this one is like a mauve nude, or I don't know if it is even that nude, but a mauve type of neutral shade. It's not too light. It's definitely quite cool tone, something I do really like during winter. I must say about this NYX butter lipstick formula that it's not my favorite. I have had, I believe, four shades and I think the shades are really hit and miss. Some shades are very buttery and again they do skip on my lips, but then for example this shade I think is quite even and quite nice formula. Next I do have a liquid lipstick from Ofra. So this is the Ofra lipstick in Miami Fever, so it is maybe one of the most popular lipstick sage from Ofra. This one was a collaboration with Ofra and Kathleen Lights. It is like orangey brown. I have worn it only once and I did wear this with like almost no makeup makeups. And I don't think this one looked that great with that kind of look. So I think with this kind of lipstick I want to wear a little bit more bold look so that the lipstick doesn't look that weird. Then I do have a lipstick from Pacifica and this is one of my favorite lipsticks from my collection. I'm not quite sure if this one is discontinued. I think it is and it makes me so sad because this is so good. So this is Pacifica Devotion Lipstick in Tenderness. They didn't have very many shades. I believe they did have only five shades. And from those five shades I believe four were more bold or bright shade and this one is the only like neutral but it's so beautiful. This one is a mauve nude. It's a little bit similar to the NYX one in Pops but I think this one is like a little bit lighter and therefore it is a little bit more nude. But if I'm wearing a cool toned look and I want to wear a cool toned nude with it, this one is what I'm going to wear. It is a beautiful satin finish. Okay, we do have only five more lipsticks to go. So first is a lipstick I'm wearing today actually. So this is So Susan Liquid Lipstick in the set Pumpkin. And this one is also from Lip Monthly. And as you can see, it is like a light brown. It is quite warm. I don't think it's quite as warm as it looks in the tube. Like maybe it dries just a little bit more cool, but it is still a warm light brown. So here it is. It's really pretty. It's one of my favorite neutrals during the fall. I think the name and the color and everything suits fall very well. And this is one of the most comfortable liquid lipsticks I have ever tried. Then I do have one liquid lipstick from Tarte. I actually don't have that much Tarte products and this is my only lip product from Tarte. So this is the Tarte Tarte is lip paint and it is in the set Texas Toast. So this one was a collaboration between Tarte and Graveyard Curl. I have difficulties to speak English today. This one is very interesting color. It is really, really cool toned, almost like a grayish brown, but I do really like this color. It does have a hint of mauve in it, I think. The formula of this is not my favorite. I don't hate it. It's kind of like a musy formula, so it is very comfortable in my opinion, but it can be a little bit messy. It is not like completely matte, so there may be some transfer, but I do like it. It's not my favorite, but it's nice in my opinion. I don't wear this very often. It's definitely a color I would wear it's more during winter. Then let's talk about my oldest liquid lipstick. This is a little bit embarrassing how old this is. I think I maybe should buy a new one, but I don't want before my Nova year. So at least this one doesn't smell bad, so I'm still going to keep it. But this one is the Balm Meat Matte Hues lipstick in the set Charming, and I love this. I think this one is described as rich mauve in the Balm website and it's so pretty. Oh my god. The thing is that I have had it three years and it is a long age for a liquid lipsticks. It's one of the boldest colors in 
this video, but I still consider it to be neutral because it's not colorful. So yeah, I do really love this. This formula is really nice. It's comfortable. It's all matte. It's maybe my favorite formula after the Jeffree Star one. Okay, then I do have only two lipsticks left and they are both from Too Faced. So first I do have one Too Faced Melted lipsticks. This one is in the shade Melted Chihuahua and it is a deluxe size sample. So this one is a mauve neutral, quite cool toned. It's very pretty. I did declutter the shade Melted Nude in my declutter video because that one has a bad smell. This one does not have the bad smell. It smells exactly what it smelled like when I got it. It's not my favorite packaging though. I think this one is a little bit messy and annoying, this squishy tube type of packaging. But the lipstick is nice. It is like this satin type of little lipstick. It doesn't dry matte, but I don't think it claims to dry matte either. Then the last neutral lipstick I do have is the Too Faced Natural Nudes lipsticks in Birthday suit. So this one is a nude. Again, this one is a nude that I do have very hard time describing. I think right now that I'm starting to be at my palest. This is not like that light of a nude, but if I do have tan, this is a very light nude on myself. But I think it's nice formula. It is a satin finish and it does wear very well. Maybe I could buy another shade, however right now I'm not buying any new lipsticks, but in future I do like this packaging. This one is one of the most pretty packaging in my collection. It is adorable, it is so luxe feeling, it is very heavy and it does have these cute flowers. And I do like this when brands do packaging so that you can actually see the color of the lipstick. So it's so cute, I like it. But I need to wear the color more to get to know it better. That was everything for today. Those were my neutral lipsticks. And my next video will be my colorful lipsticks. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know down in the comments what are your favorite neutral lipsticks. Like what is your favorite nude? Do you have any deeper neutral favorites? And see you in my next video. Bye bye.